Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. This is More Sporting and I'm Pat Moore and I really appreciate you stopping by and checking out what we got going on. So today we're launching from the Kenmore launch on Lake Washington and uh, my initial thought was that I was going to fish for largemouths. Of course, that's not what happens, but um, I do have a really, really good day here. And if you measure uh, a good day by catching at least five fish, I had a great day because we caught far more than that. Now, I did spend like an hour fishing the weeds um, on the edge of the lake, but it's typical in the fall here, I like to troll. So I'm out in the mid lake area there's some drop-offs there and some points and I'm trolling along and uh, yeah I get a bite here now I will say that this area that I'm fishing here um, I have done really well in this area in the past but as far as this year goes it's been miserable I haven't caught hardly any fish in this location I'm not even sure why I bothered pedaling out here but um, today was a different story um, I caught this fish on the first pass through and uh, it felt like it was a really, really good fish. So, you know, it was a good start to the day, that's for sure. While our intrepid hero is fighting this fish, um, how about we figure out uh, what the stats are for the, for the water? So you can see that we got really light winds, probably two to four miles an hour most of the day. The water temps were 72, 74, um, and it was mid 70s for air temps as well. Now you can see I reeled in way too much line. So what do you suppose happens when I go ahead and push the button on this uh, um, baitcaster? Whoop, uh, uh, you put a backlash in it. Very good, Pat. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, decent fish. He's probably 18-ish. That's a nice fish. All right, let's just measure him, just so we know. Yeah, it's 18 and a half. 18 and a half inch fish. That's a nice fish. Now, I think it's probably good news that 18 and a half inches doesn't call out any of my fish for the season long tournament. So, yeah, it's just a it was just a really nice fish and, you know, those those that size fish is a lot of fun to catch. So, I was pretty happy with that. Now, as you might have guessed, I went right back to trolling. Uh, and just for the, the clarity here, so you guys know what I'm doing here, I am trolling with my Creek Chub patterned square bill. And uh, this is really deadly, particularly this time of year, uh, late summer, early fall. Uh, usually pick up a lot of fish with that lure. And today's no different. I got a, I got a really nice fish on here too. And this is like 10 minutes later. It's like really quick. I'll also point out that these fish were in about uh, 18 to 20 feet of water, which is right around where the weed line was. So I was trolling along the outside edge of the weed line. And uh, this fish here, I think it's right around 15 inches. <clears throat> I, didn't, I didn't put it on the measuring board, but... Um, in my notes, that's what I have, man. It's about 15 and a quarter inches. Well, it seemed to be working, so I went back to trolling again. My lure's not moving properly. Damn it. Went through all that. And that's the liabilities of trolling, is you get weeds occasionally. I don't know. It seems to be seems to be moving now, but I'm gonna I'm still gonna pull it in. I'll trust it. it was, oh. And in that process, I caught a fish. <laughs> so I guess it wasn't fouled. Doesn't feel like a huge fish, but I'm gonna 
guess it's probably another one of those 14 inch ones, but what the hell do I know? Oh man, they're fighting over it. Now you tell me, was that a good lure or what? <laughs> oh, I caught two fish on the same lure. <laughs> oh, Dude, God dang it, how am I going to get you guys out of there? You idiots. Oh man. Okay. Oh, well that one's gone. I don't know exactly how big he was, but they're both pretty much the same size. <sighs> yeah, your friend made life miserable for you there, didn't he, dude? Let's see how long you are. Yeah, you're probably 14 and 3 quarters, and that other one was about the same. <laughs> You idiots. God. Now given that I caught those previous two fish while I was reeling it in, I should have known that all I needed to do was cast. It's way more efficient to just cast for fish, but um, I, I don't get any exercise doing that, so I was trolling again and uh, I got another hit here. Yeah, that's a nice fish here. Feels like it anyway. <laughs> Maybe I got two of them again. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he was in the weeds. Seeing some color there. You know what that is, folks? That is my fifth fish. And I did it again. Let's see, how big is it? Oh, that one's substantially bigger. <laughs> Maybe I should measure that one. almost 19. He's, he wouldn't get quite 19, but he'd get 18 and three quarters. All right, I'm gonna take a picture of that one, just because. Well, ironically, that fish might have helped me in the year-long tournament. Uh, it. I think it would have quarter, uh, called a quarter of an inch, but uh, the photo was just so blurry. The photos were just so blurry that you couldn't uh, see how long the fish was. I think it got splashed. The lens got splashed. Uh, but at any rate, um, we let him go without checking the photo, so that one didn't count. You know, one of the things I find out when I edit these videos is just how many stupid things I really do when I'm out fishing. I don't know why I stopped trolling or even casting a square bill. I, I switched over to a, a drop shot here, I guess just to see if I could catch fish doing that. I don't know. But uh, here's the nice thing. I set the hook and then I tightened down the reel. What was I doing there? Anyway, there's a fish on the end of the line here. And honestly, I'm surprised to see that this is a largemouth. Um, I don't catch a lot of largemouth out here. This is like 20, 22 feet of water uh, generally in this area. And um, so I was a little bit surprised to see the largemouth, but I did catch one here. Let's 
see what he is. Uh, he's right around 14. They do exist. All right, see you, buddy. Now, apparently, I must have come to my senses because <laughs> about an hour after farting around with the, the drop shot, and I caught another dink. I'm not showing you that. Um, but uh, I started trolling again, and within minutes, of course, I picked up another fish. Now, this isn't exactly a, uh, a monster, but, you know, I've caught an 18 and a half and an 18 and three quarters, so there's some big fish in the area. I really should have just been trolling, and I probably should have spent the whole day there trolling, but, you know, I didn't because I have ADD and... Uh, my mind wanders. <laughs> I just, I just go do things that don't make any sense sometimes. But anyway, this is a, this is a half decent fish. Um, he measures so oh, right around 14 inches, and uh, yeah, good fish. They're all good fish. Miraculously, I went back to trolling. <laughs> I don't know what got into me. <laughs> Uh, I did get another bite here, and uh, yeah, it seems like it's an okay fish. I have another fish, and an airplane just went over, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. A little small mouth. Boy, they're just... Uh, bitey today. I've been chewing on everything. Well, you know, I didn't catch any on the drop shot. I just caught that one large mouth and then uh, that other small one, whatever that was. Let's just see if this one was a keeper. I don't think so. Looks like a small one. Ooh, another real close. 11, maybe 12. Now the old adage that says, don't leave fish to find fish, really applied here. So I wanted to get some exercise, so I trolled up the, uh, up the east side of the lake here, just thinking, well, they've been biting like crazy. I should be able to pick up one or two more fish doing that, but I didn't catch another fish trolling. And uh, on the way back, there was a couple of docks that looked pretty good and the sun was, uh, was beating down. So I thought, well, I'll try tossing a wacky worm under some docks here. And uh, it did work out. I caught one fish here. This is the only fish I caught on that part of the lake. Now, I guess as most of you know, um, I don't catch a ton of largemouths. Uh, this year I've caught a lot more than I have in the past. Um, so I often struggle to get enough largemouths to, to fill out my year-end quota. I do have five large mouths at this point, but this fish looked like it was uh, big enough that it was worth measuring. So I did measure him. He was 17 inches, which wasn't big enough to help me in the month long, or excuse me, the season long. So uh, he just, just another keeper on the long list. So a nine fish day uh, ought to be worth a like, I would think. So <laughs> press that like button for me and uh, Hey, if you know if you know me, if we've met, just uh, put a little message in the in the comments section saying hi. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. All right, so that's pretty much all I got for you. Um, the lesson that I learned today, uh, particularly after going back and editing this video and reviewing all the things that I did, was um, you know when you got something that's working, you, you should just stick with it and. Yeah, okay, there is something to be learned. Uh, well, you know, when the fish are, are biting something moving, will they also bite something on the bottom? And the answer to that, no, they won't. <laughs> Just stick with what works. Oh, well. Um, lessons learned. 
Thanks for watching, everybody.